Welcome to Western Arms. What brings you in today? A friend recommended your store to me, so I thought I'd stop by and look around. I collect pistols, and I noticed you have a beautiful six-shooter right there in the case. It's a limited edition model. I guess that. I have several other models from the same manufacturer, but none quite like that. Are you a licensed collector? No, it's just a hobby. I keep them for personal use, but I don't buy and sell guns on a frequent basis. But you seem to be pretty interested in this one. Interested? <laughs> That's an understatement. I think it's a must-have. Great. I'll get ATF Form 4473 for you to fill out, and then we'll run the next check. Do you have a picture ID with you? Oh, sure. I know the drill. Hmm. You're from out of state. Yep. Is that a problem? I'm not sure. Let me ask Mr. Lucas, our manager. Do you have a question, Carla? Mr. Peterson is interested in purchasing one of our handguns, but he's from out of state and I'm not sure of the procedures for an out of state transaction. Well, Carla, the sale of a rifle or shotgun to an out of state non licensee is okay as long as the customer makes the transaction in person and the transaction is legal in both the transferor state and the transferee state. Simply fill out form 4473, run the next check, and record the transaction as usual. They would, of course, have to come back and pick it up after the state-mandated one-week waiting period. However, in the case of a handgun, the procedure is a little different. We must transfer the handgun to a dealer in Mr. Peterson's state of residence. Then that dealer will have him complete the Form 4473, run the next check, then deliver the firearm to Mr. Peterson. The local dealer will ensure that the transaction complies with state and local law. To determine whether a transaction is valid in a transferee state, you may consult ATF P5300.5, State Laws and Published Ordinances, Firearms. Mr. Peterson, would you prefer to pick up your purchase from a particular dealer in your area? Actually, I would. If you could ship it to Wayne Sporting Goods in Libertyville, that'd be great. While Carla updates the record of receipt and disposition, I'll contact Wayne Sporting Goods to arrange the shipment. A clerk there will act as the transferor, so you'll have to pick up the pistol in person with your photo ID in hand, complete Form 4473, and undergo a next check. Is that okay? Sure thing. While I'm here, I'm heading for a skeet shoot later today, and I, I want to pick up a box of ammunition for my 12-gauge shotgun. I understand the concern with firearms, but do the out-of-state rules apply to the purchase of ammunition, too? Ammunition should be okay. Right, Mr. Lucas? Yes, Carla. As long as the customer meets the age requirements, an out-of-state ammunition sale is fine. Great. Will that be all, sir? Now well, that's it for today. Okay. We're just about done. I'm in no hurry. Carla, I'll show you how to do a dealer-to-dealer -dealer transfer. To transfer a firearm to another dealer, we must first validate their license status by checking a certified copy of their federal firearms license. Since we have never performed an exchange with Mr. Peterson's preferred dealer, We'll request a certified copy when we call them and send them a certified copy of our license in return so that we can transfer the firearm to them. Do we only perform this process when someone from out of state buys a handgun? No. There are a number of reasons a dealer will transfer one or more firearms to another dealer. For example, our inventory may be running low on a particular model and we may need to purchase some additional units from another dealer. Or it can be as simple as a dealer requesting a firearm that his or her store does not carry. Now let me call Wayne's Sporting Goods. Okay, that makes sense. I'll just enter the information in the computer and ring up the sale for you, Mr. Peterson. Good. Here's my credit card. Okay, I just talked to Wayne's Sporting Goods and the license exchange is underway. Your purchase will be available for pickup in one week. Just make sure to take your receipt and a picture ID with you. And here's your receipt, Mr. Peterson. We hope you enjoy your new purchase. Thank you. I can't wait to see the look on my friends' faces when they see this new addition to my collection. Don't forget that the sale of a rifle or shotgun to an out-of-state non-licensee is lawful as long as the customer makes the transaction in person and the transaction is legal in both the transferor state and the transferee's state. However, in the case of a handgun, the transferor must arrange for the customer to pick up the handgun from a dealer in his or her state of residence. The local dealer will have the customer complete Form 4473 and will conduct the NICS check. Additionally, for dealer-to-dealer -dealer transfers, make sure you obtain a certified copy of the other dealer's federal firearm license prior to making the transfer. 